giving up the dumb motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Welcome dear students of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Today we are going to learn subject English and today we are going to learn lesson number 13 and our topic is Let's Wait. So let's see what is there in this lesson. This lesson is a monologue. Monologue, you already know what is monologue. Monologue means a long speech given by someone. Now you can see the picture of a girl. This girl is giving this monologue. What she is telling to us, let's see in this lesson. By her facial expression, we can see that she is looking very angry. What happened to her? Let's see. Monologue when things go against their wishes, little children sometimes feel very sad and lonely. They don't realize how much the people around them love them. It's only when they wait and think properly that they understand it. Let's hear what this girl has to say. Lonely means alone and the word realize means to become conscious of something or that something has happened. This is the worst day of my life. I am feeling very sad. You may not believe it but I am the saddest person on this earth. The reason is that nobody loves me. I have a family. Mummy, Daddy, Granny and a younger sister. I have been sitting here behind this sofa for the whole day. Okay, for the last 8 hours. Alright, alright. At least an hour. At least 10 whole minutes. And no one has noticed. They are all interested only in my sister. Even when she cries for no reason, they all rush to her. Pick her up and give her whatever she wants. I should really go away and live in some interesting places. I think I'll become a hermit and wander in the mountains and forests. I'll eat the fruit on trees and make friends with birds and animals. Or I could ride away on a camel and live in a desert. At night, I will sleep in a tent or better still, I'll travel to the North Pole and live in an igloo made of ice. I'll make friends with the polar bear. Students, desert means a large area of land usually covered with sand and that has very little water and very few plants. Let's see the meaning of the word hermit. Hermit means a person who prefers to live alone without contact with other people. Wander, walk around aimlessly without any purpose. Students, we all feel the same way if we have the younger sister or brother. You will feel that family members are paying more attention towards them. So we all feel left out if we are the older one. In family so the same way here the girl is also feeling left out and she is angry with all of them that's why she's planning to become a hermit and wander in the mountains and forest even she's thinking to be friends with birds and animals or to go in a desert and she's also planning to travel to the North Pole and to live in an igloo made of ice even she is thinking to become friend of polar bear. Children you can see here in this picture the white part is a north pole which is situated in the northern hemisphere. Now there is something interesting for all of you. See this picture. 
Oh, yes, it is a polar bear. Okay, this bear mainly lives in North Pole. There only we can find them. And here the another picture of igloo. You can see the igloo. Igloo is a small house made of hard snow. What's that? Something soft against my back. Oh, it's baby. What are you doing here? You silly. Go away. Don't smile at me. Why do you follow me? Shh, shh. Is there nobody else in the house to look after you? Don't come here. You may bump into something and I'll get all the scolding. Why do you have to do everything that I do? Copycat. Oh, never mind. Really, the people in this house, they should look after her better. I am a grown-up girl now. I can manage on my own. But what about this little baby? Come baby, let's crawl out from here. When I go away, I'll take you with me. Or you'll keep crying for me all the time. And they won't even guess what the matter is with you. I really can't go away when you are so small. Let's wait till you are a little older. Bump means to hit something or somebody by accident when you are moving. The word scolding means to criticize someone angrily who has done something wrong. Though girl is angry with everyone but she knows that she is grown up girl and now she can take care of herself but the little baby is still small and she needs help and care of everyone so that's why the girl is saying i'll take you with me whenever i go away otherwise you'll keep crying for me all the time and they won't even guess what's the matter with you i really can't go away when you are so small so let's wait till you are a little older sometimes when our elders scold us we feel bad and we become angry but at the end, we all know that our family, that our parents, our teachers, our brother and sister, they all love us. Now let's have a look on some questions of this lesson. Where does the girl plan to go? Girl plan to go in the mountains and forest or to live in desert or to travel to North Pole. Can a little girl go to such far away places on her own? No. Is the girl still sad at the end? No, she is not sad at the end. Does the girl love her little sister? Yes. Now here are more questions. Write the things that make you sad, angry, happy. So you have to write. What do you feel when you are angry or sad? Write down your thoughts. What do you feel when you are happy? Write down your thoughts. Keep learning new things every day, students. Enjoy your learning.